Hello everyone, it's Jeff Farina with PocketNow.com and yesterday you saw us unbox the Droid Pro. In that video we gave you a quick look at what to expect when you first boot the device up and just a very brief look at the hardware itself. Well now it's time to get into depth and this is going to be our hardware overview. So, let's get started. And we're back to jump right into the Droid Pro specs and the first thing you're going to actually notice is of course the physical QWERTY keyboard here, which is actual keys. And these keys are very similar to that of a BlackBerry. We'll actually bring it a little closer so you can get a better look here. These keys are very similar, almost the same slant, the same styling, everything as a BlackBerry. Which, if you're going after the business user, may be a safe bet. Now, of course, because it has that front-facing physical keyboard, it's a smaller screen. It's a 3.1-inch capacitive display with a resolution of 320 by 480, so it's a slightly lower resolution capacitive display. At the heart of the Droid Pro is a 1 gigahertz OMAP processor, OMAP 3620 to be exact. You're also going to have 512 megabytes of RAM, this is no joke, and 2048 megabytes of ROM, or 2048, let's call it roughly 2 gigs. You're of course going to have the four capacitive buttons, the Android buttons, your menu, your home, your back, and your search key. And you're going to see some of the Motorola and Verizon logo as well as styling on the front and the back of this device. So let's go ahead and give you a quick tour. Once again, we do have that physical keyboard on the front as well as those capacitive keys. Moving on to the left side of the device, we're going to have a silver accent or a silver trim. Relatively plain here, however, we're going to have one user programmable key you can actually set any application you want to open at the command of that key. We've actually gone ahead and used that many times. We've actually set it now to Twitter, which you'll actually see in our software overview, so we'll actually give you a demo of that working. The top of the device will, of course, have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and your power as well as lock and unlock button. The left side is going to have your up and down volume rockers, which, of course, is pretty straightforward there. And then you're going to have your micro USB charging port. Now one cool thing about this port, we'll bring it very close so you can get a good look here, is it's actually surrounded by rubber. So the chances of wrecking both the port as well as the actual charger itself are much slimmer. And one very cool aspect of that is actually during nighttime charging it will glow. And we'll actually show you on camera here. We're going to go ahead and turn off this light so that you can see it. And then once you plug your micro USB directly in, you're going to see that it actually glows. Which is very cool at night when you're in a very dark room. It's a nice little subtle effect that you'll see on your nightstand. And at the bottom of the device, we will have the microphone port in the left corner. Moving on to the back of the device, you're going to see once again the Motorola, as well as the Verizon logo in effect. Plus you'll see the with Google. Now we're going to have a five megapixel camera here with a dual LED flash. And then lastly, you're going to have the actual speaker port down here at the bottom. It's tough to see, but there's actually a grill right there. Now, we did comment on this on our unboxing video, but this back pattern is actually very cool looking. And it's a nice little silver wave effect. Now, if we go ahead and actually take this battery cover off, we're going to see the 1420 hour milliamp battery. We'll zoom in a little bit further here. And you're going to be greeted by a unique surprise, which is a SIM card, which is definitely new to see on a Verizon device. However, this is a world phone. So I should go ahead and pop this battery out. This is a world phone. So this SIM card will grant you cell phone reception throughout the world. Now, basically, when you're in the United States, it's going to be using the CDMA network, and it will actually be the frequencies of 800 and 1900. However, when you leave the country, whether it be Canada, Europe, pretty much you name it, it's going to open up an entirely new aspect of reception that's going to be GSM and UMTS. And actually, the frequencies that the GSM spectrum is going to cover will be 850, 900, 1800, and 1900. And then finally, for UMTS, which will be the 3G on the GSM band, you're going to have 850, 1900, and 2100. So once again, wherever you go, you will have coverage. Now, you're going to also have a pre-installed 2 gig micro SD card from SanDisk here. This is expandable up to 32 gigs, 
so you'll have that nice luxury like you do currently with most Android or other smartphones. One great note about the camera is that it's actually capable of recording 720p at what Motorola claims to be 30 frames per second. We're actually going to give you a video camera test video in the future, so make sure you stay tuned to see that. Lastly, in terms of the connectivity options, you're going to have Wi-Fi, B, G, and N, which is good to see that N included there. And of course, you're going to have the Bluetooth 2.1 capability. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to post them on the YouTube video page for this actual video or on the pocketnow.com article, and we'll be sure to answer them if we can. Thanks for watching, everyone.